Welcome to the Bulldog Vlog. It's episode number five, and I'm here with Ben Ralston. We talk about experiential marketing and out-of-home advertising, and you are the first bona fide expert at out-of-home advertising. You've been a sign guy for how many years now? Well, I, I've been, a, I guess technically I've been a, a sign guy since I was probably in sixth grade, <laughs> but professionally since oh, 2002. Come on, somebody was paying me in sixth grade too. <laughs> Yeah, paid me a little bit here and, there. here and there to sweep floors and scrape billboard panels. So tell, tell us about Ralston Outdoor Advertising. Well, Ralston Outdoor uh, was, was started in 1976. Uh, it's been a family company. Uh, uh, my dad and I uh, worked together, um, and it's been a, a lot of fun. We're kind of a... Uh, sort of a small fish in a, in a big pond here in DFW, but we, we try to compete with, with our uh, uh, other local competitors and we try to compete with, with our national competitors as well. How many, how many billboards do you have in North Texas then? We have a little over 200 faces in, in North Texas. Okay, well that's significant. And are they mostly around Dallas or just? Um, the core of, of our plan is in the is in Dallas and the surrounding counties, and then we have uh, some inventory going uh, south to, to Waco, and then out kind of east, and some uh, on the western side of, uh, of Fort Worth as well. Do you like the major highways, or are you, are you involved in the tertiary markets as well? Um, I would say. For the most part, um, our principal units are interstate-based, U.S. highway-based, um, but we certainly have um, uh, boards on uh, auxiliary uh, roads, uh, farmer market roads, county roads, and then, you know, of course, in Dallas, we've got some on the uh, you know, arterial uh, mm -hmm. roads. So, in all your years' experience, what advice do you have for the guy who's going to Going to hire somebody to put up a billboard for their business. What's the most? What are the three most important things to think about? Well, I think you want to create the, the your best opportunity for exposure in the marketplace, and I think a lot of it has to do with the economics of, of your budget, what you can what you can pay, um, and I think that the great thing about Dallas and, and DFW is that there are. Um, opportunities that really, you know, outdoor-wise can meet just about every budget. Um, I would say, uh, obviously, the creative is a very important aspect of out-of-home. Um, we kind of, around our shop, we typically still go with the old kind of 10 words or less. Um, you know, we're, we're big into contrasting colors that really can pop a message out there to your consumers. Um, and I just would say just, you know, how, um, you know, how to reach your target audience, um, be it a mobile billboard, be it a, an LED uh, billboard on the highway, um, or be it a, a poster location. Um, I think that has a, 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 big, uh, a big part of the decision for any advertisers, how they want to reach their um, consumer. And I think one thing that's good is, you know, hopefully there, there, there is some um, opportunities to have a good media mix with different forms of out of home, whether it's on a, 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 at one of these developments like a, a, a Mockingbird Station where you can be on a kiosk or on a wallscape. You can, you can have a mobile billboard like Bulldog, or you can have a, a, a standard uh, traditional freeway sign like we have, and have that kind of mix and hopefully be able to target who you're, who you're wanting to. You, you mentioned 10 words or less. How long does someone have when they're driving on a highway to see and actually read a billboard? Well, for the most part, it's really about eight seconds. Um, now, when you've got uh, major freeways like we have in, in, in Dallas, like LBJ, and uh, some portions of Stimmons, where you, if you pinpoint the, the right time of day where you've got your peak um, uh, rush hour traffic, that eight seconds can turn into almost a minute sometimes yeah. of looking at a, a, a stationary billboard. Um, but, and, and of course that's great for us, but by and large, if the traffic's flowing good, it's a quick read, um, and 
and you got, that's, that's where it comes in important to have good contrasting colors, um, a strong uh, logo or brand if you're going to have that on on your copy, and then then a couple of taglines, and, and that's, that's it. it. Yeah. How do you feel about the future of digital billboards? Um, I, I feel that it's it's a it's a great opportunity um, for for a small company like ours. The, the economics were a bit of a deterrent just just for the startup cost to get these installed. We did end up doing a couple of them, um, but it has not been a, a major um, portion of our business that we've really pursued. Mm -hmm. and, and we have in our our niche of, 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 of being in the billboard business here, we have some regulatory constraints here locally in Dallas that make it difficult to convert more of our inventory into LED and I think if you if you couple that with the the economics of it um, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of content staying with traditional vinyl printed. So I know you're dabbling in Dallas anyway in the restaurant business. Have you had success with your billboards advertising your, your restaurants? You know, we, uh, for, for the Cadetrol Ice House, um, a couple of times a year, we will put out some some creative that I think has been really pretty pretty good um, for the Ice House and for Ralston Outdoor, and it's an opportunity for the Ice House to get up on a, on a major uh, freeway, and, and Ralston Outdoor is up there, and it's kind of acts as sort of a dual promotion for, for both businesses. And typically, it'll be on a preemptible schedule where as soon as we sell the space, we'll take it down and move it along. And then we've done some some holiday stuff for the Ice House on, on billboards. Um, it's, it's been kind of a fun thing uh, to do. That's great. If you ever have any empty space on your billboards to have businesses that can use it, can, can utilize it. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Tell everybody what your website is or how to get a hold of you. Yep. Uh, our, our website is uh, RalstonOutdoor.com. And uh, for billboard sales, it's just sales at RalstonOutdoor.com. Very good. That's the hardest part for me in sales. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below and subscribe to the, the channel. And remember that you have a choice and if, uh, to, of uh, out of home and experiential in your marketing mix. Please remember to choose out of home and experiential in your marketing mix. See you down the road.